Good afternoon, Soapstone. It is great to see you. We are coming to you to talk to you about our new generosity campaign. It's going to be kicking off this Sunday, and our key text that we're going to be reading is from 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10. Like good stewards of the manifold grace of God, serve one another with whatever gift each of you has received. And we are summarizing this to say, use your God-given gifts to serve others. And we're using this text to kind of explore the whole idea of a generosity campaign. So, Lucas, any thoughts? Why are we doing a generosity campaign and not a stewardship campaign? Stewardship is kind of a older generation word, probably. I would, I would say that it's, when we think of the word stewardship, we may not be able to think of how we can put that into practice in our lives. But when we hear the word generous and generosity, we can think of ways that we can be more generous in the things that we do. Mm -hmm. No, I like it. Uh, generosity, we understand, we can wrap our minds around, and I, I think stewardship has had its season in the life of the church. It's a good word, but it's very much connected to the church only, and generosity is a big word in mm -hmm. how we can lead generous lives. So, all right, so let's think. So over these next few weeks, not just us, but all of us, how can we lead lives that are intentionally more generous? So that's just a rhetorical question. Do you have some ideas? Yeah, so we could be more generous that like maybe if we go out to eat, we could give a little bit more of a tip than we might have originally. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you can be generous with your time with your kids or your significant others or whoever that might be that you might be able to give a little, an extra hour of instead of watching TV by yourself, you could be having a good time with your kids or going out to hang out with a friend for coffee or something like that, that you could be generous with your time, your talents as well. I guess those of you that are some of our more talented individuals in art. We got lots of talented, we got lots of yeah. talented individuals with art that maybe you guys could give of your time and your talent to make something for the church, for somebody else as well. So this is a time for us to really think about how holistically in every aspect of our life, not just here at the church, but in every aspect, how can we be more generous with the things that God has given us? Yep, our time, our talent, and our treasure. And so we're going to be talking about all of those and the ways that we want to be more intentionally generous throughout these weeks. And we have a few words that all start with G that we're going to be looking at. We're going to be talking about gifts and grace and gratitude and generosity starting this Sunday as we're going to have Lady Sunday this week, which is a perfect opportunity to look at the way that our church is made up so many gifted individuals who share their gifts with us and we'll see those showcased from our music to our prayers to our sermon um, being led by our laity and just the many ways that we have been given as the scripture tells us so many god-given gifts and that we want to be in the act of using them to serve others sound good sound good all right well we look forward to seeing you on sunday and in the weeks to come